Hi everyone. Warm welcome to all. Today it's about the new moon of 12th of December at 26 degrees in Scorpio sign. This is the last new moon of the year 2023 in the most transformative sign Scorpio near Gandanta zone and in Gandant nakshatra Jayeshtha. With the new moon in Scorpio the eighth sign of the natural zodiac there can be suddenness in the events it can bring transformation at some level this new moon assures and promises the new beginning a fresh journey ahead and some awakening moments which can continue for the entire of 2024 the energy and the focus can suddenly shift giving us some new diversion scorpio new moon will encourage us to release our fixed approach our outdated past our emotions and can bring us a new path we have a very significant connections with this new moon first of all saturn aspects this new moon sun and mars in scorpio though the impact of saturn can be weak here as the degree wise saturn is far from this new moon we have jupiter and uranus sixth from this new moon making 6 8 relation the solar eclipse of 14th october was also making 6 8 relation with jupiter and uranus and that time also it was same 26 degrees rahu ketu are also at 27 degrees in transit right now and that makes this 26 degrees very significant we need to observe this 26 degrees in our chart so now we have sun moon uranus and rahu ketu sharing the same degree see all these are strong uncontrollable energies that guarantees change at some level where scorpio and taurus is placed what can help us in any challenges or changes that we might experience during this new moon is some innovative thinking and out of the box ideas making some 180 degree shift in the circumstances we have dignified venus 12th to this new moon in its mool trikon sign of libra this encourages releasing and letting go of our fixed mindset our emotions and any such tendencies mercury the lord of jayeshtha is placed second to this new moon in sagittarius and is about to go retrograde the very next day on 13th of december mercury is eighth and 11th lord for scorpio sign so any change can be beneficial here keep this in your mind while handling any changes that it is for your own good and for next 15 days we have dominant scorpio and jayeshtha energy in all the events that are going to happen check the role of jayeshtha nakshatra in your chart and everything related to it and that will give you the idea where and how this new moon will impact you personally that's where you may see some development in the next 15 days time till the full moon of 26 december that is in gemini sign adra nakshatra jayeshtha nakshatra is a tikshna sharp and known for destructive activities mercury is retrograde in mula nakshatra ketu's nakshatra where ketu is in mercury sign virgo in chitra nakshatra mars is nakshatra expect some conflict confusion separation and fights for power and position the deity is lord indra for jayeshtha nakshatra who is very glorious supreme and chief 
और किंग ऑफ गॉड्स इंद्रा इज द प्रोटेक्टर एंड वॉरियर हु अटैक्स एंड ऑल्सो डिफेंस टू रीच द टॉप पोजिशन विथ हिज ओन पावर्स पर्सनल पावर्स द लिटरल मीनिंग ऑफ जयेष्ठ मीन्स द एल्डेस्ट वन द सीनियर मोस्ट सो दिस न्यू मून कैन इम्पैक्ट एंड कैन गिव अ न्यू स्टार्ट इन द मैटर रिलेटेड टू द एल्डर्स इन अवर फैमिली द बॉसेस देर पावर पोजिशन और स्टेटस ऑफ एनी ऑथोराइज पर्सन विल बी इम्पैक्टेड द मोस्ट पॉजिटिव और नेगेटिव विल डिपेंड ऑन द प्लेसमेंट ऑफ स्कॉर्पियो साइन इन द फंक्शनल नेचर ऑफ मोक्यूरी इन योर चार्ट अलॉन्ग विथ इट्स प्लेसमेंट न्यू मून इन जयेष्टा कैन ब्रिंग सम चेंज न्यू बिगिनिंग वेर आइदर यू विल गेन पावर विथ योर एफर्ट्स और यू कैन लूज योर स्टेटस बिकॉज ऑफ योर ओन डेड्स सी स्कॉर्पियो इज अ डार्क जोन ऑफ अवर जोडियक इट्स द नेचुरल एथ हाउस दैट होल्ड्स अवर फ्यर्स सम सीक्रेट्स अवर डीप पेन विच वी हैव कैप्ट हिडन एंड ऑल्सो वी आर होल्डिंग ऑन इट वेरी टाइटली it won't be easy to let go anything as this new moon and mars the lord of scorpio has saturn's 10th aspect from aquarius saturn also aspects aries the other sign of mars the mool trikon sign of mars and the planets placed there that is jupiter and uranus so saturn restricts and controls all our actions saturn can also stir our deepest emotions and fears here it can even block and restrict our expression our communication and can make us feel helpless here mercury is a key planet being lord of jayeshtha and has gandant energy also it will be crossing scorpio gandanta twice in its retrograde motion this can be the very good time to clear our any confusion or develop new understanding for the situation while moon will cross mula gandanta on 13th of december we can experience some results of this new moon by 14th of december when moon will conjunct retrograde mercury the lord of jayeshtha at 14 degrees in sagittarius there can be a start of some major shift around this time as this conjunction has jupiter's ninth aspect there can be increase in our wisdom and clear understanding of the situation if we are confused we can also have the help from exalted jupiter in navamsha that will restore our faith and optimism do remember jupiter is almost stationary around this time at 11 degrees but then on 15th of december moon will conjunct pluto at 4 degrees in capricorn in uttara shada nakshatra and sun the lord of uttara shada is very close to gandant point of scorpio and is about to enter mula nakshatra in sagittarius from here the energies are very intense and expect eventful time from here also on 18th of december moon will conjunct saturn at 7 degrees in aquarius and this will have mars aspect there are chances of having some negative thoughts fear and restrictions at each level with stationary jupiter and retrograde mercury it is the time to stay very cautious and calm in all our dealings we need to observe back to back events from here on 21st of december moon will conjunct rahu at 27 degrees and will cross pisces gandanta on 22nd of december moon will conjunct stationary jupiter 
at 11 degrees and has saturn's aspect then on 23rd of december moon will conjunct uranus at 25 degrees and this will be opposite venus in libra even venus will be opposite to uranus this can be very transformative for our finances and all our close relations these couple of days may give us some reality checks can bring some new awareness and a much needed truth can be revealed expect some new development some movement with exalted moon by 24th and 25th of december it also has aspect of mars Finally on 27th of December we have Gemini full moon in Adra nakshatra at around 11 degrees expect ending and closure with this full moon with strong rahu in pisces and retrograde mercury in mula nakshatra let us see the probable impact of this new moon for each ascendant sign what we have to focus on and make necessary modifications at each level check the taurus and scorpio sign the 2 and 8 axes of the natural zodiac it signifies the struggle of what to hold on to which is taurus sign our value system and what to let go of have transformation there and that is scorpio sign mostly we all have to work on our fears that we have built up over the years start with aries for aries the new moon encourages you to work on your approach towards any change and also the way you deal with any challenges of your life you may start to build on your personality your health and remove any toxic from your life it is the time for you to travel also change and maintain your healthy lifestyle taurus it is all about how best you manage your close partnerships and deal with the reality in front of you you need to come out from your shell start to communicate openly you can also learn some new skills and manage your finances well it is the time to control your senses and let go of any stubborn tendencies gemini this new moon can give you a new start in your work zone this can encourage you to work on your problematic habits your health changing your work routine and also your style of working it is the time to work on yourself your health your peace of mind and anything related to your home your mother cancer this new moon can open new doors and can bring some new opportunities in your children's life also you may also polish some fresh talents and it is all about how best you express your creativity with your passion it is best time to travel communicate and invest wisely but do not take any unnecessary risk leo you may strengthen your bond with your family and have new foundation with this new moon your home family vehicles and having security is all your focus also how you can heal yourself and work better it is the time to get rewards of your hard work gain more power and resources virgo this new moon can increase your courage your stamina to deal with any challenges expect some sudden travel and new start in your work zone it is the time to focus on yourself your career connect with some new people and share your learnings libra the new moon impacts your health your finances and your family focus can be mainly to actively review your own habits all your actions and think of well-being of your family 
इट इज बेस्ट टू इन्वेस्ट बेटर डू सम रिसर्च स्पेंड सम टाइम अलोन एंड रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन हाउ टू इम्प्रूव योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ लाइफ स्कॉर्पियो न्यू मून इज इन्फ्लुएंसिंग यू एज अ पर्सन योर हेल्थ योर पर्सनैलिटी एंड योर ऑल क्लोज रिलेशंस एक्सपेक्ट अ ग्रांड न्यू बिगिनिंग दैट रीशेप्स ऑल योर क्लोज रिलेशंस इट इज़ द बेस्ट टाइम टू ब्रिंग चेंजेस इन योर करियर एंड बी गोल ओरिएंटेड नाउ Sagittarius your aim with this new moon is to work on your expenses any foreign travel your health and improve your work patterns it is the best time to enhance and start some new projects in your career explore new opportunities and be more expressive your relations with others may start to change permanently from here Capricorn the new moon improves your skills your network your friend circle and can fulfill your desires there can be some sudden change in your perception your knowledge will increase your equation with your elders can improve from here it is best to avoid any fights and conflicts with your colleagues Aquarius This new moon can bring some new opportunities in your career can improve your public life and can clear obstacles in the path to your success it is the best time to bring changes in the way you express your creativity and also learn some new skills it is the time to develop new habits which can give you pleasure with some latest knowledge Pisces it is the time to alter your strong belief systems be little flexible adventurous and go for some higher learning your focus can be to improve your career and maintain a strong bond with elders or teachers in life it is the best time to bring change at home and peace in all your relations that was all about all 12 ascendants to summarize scorpio is a fixed water sign indicating our strong stubborn approach and emotions towards our relations and our finances with this new moon the change can be more related to our fixed sentiments in these matters It is a period of 15 days to start taking action and resolve any problems related to Scorpio sign where this new moon is happening. The natural 2 and 8 axis, the Taurus and the Scorpio sign of our chart is getting activated with this new moon. It's all about our valuables, finances, family, health and dealing with chaos and change in our life taurus would aim and bring stability and scorpio will look for transformation so the goal would be here to bring balance in both these things take some action as scorpio is a very fixed water sign emotionally we will be very stubborn the energies are slow to give results you may have to push yourself for everything mars and scorpio will help you to take some actions just stay flexible with any changes that comes your way and give your best that was all about this session i hope this was helpful best wishes to everyone with this new moon thank you for your time do write in your comments and your queries and i'll see you also thank you